our world and beyond. Space, in partnership with the European Space Agency. Life on Earth as we know it wouldn't be possible without the magnetic field protecting our planet. But research shows it's weakening fast. In the coming centuries, Earth's magnetic field is expected to go through unprecedented changes. And we're only just starting to understand this vital force of nature and its puzzling behavior. Earth's magnetic field is generated deep within the core of the planet. This is a restless place with vigorous motions of liquid metal. And these motions of liquid metal generate electrical currents, and these currents give Earth's magnetic field. It acts as a shield which deflects the solar wind, charged particles which stream away from the sun, and it deflects them around the Earth, providing a, a, a safe bubble in which uh, life exists. In the absence of a magnetic field, these charged particles would strip away the ozone layer which protects the Earth from harmful ultraviolet rays. Vital but invisible, this magnetic field can be seen on rare occasions when the solar particles collude with gas molecules, resulting in what's known as auroras. Many living organisms, from bacteria to insects or birds, seem to rely on Earth's magnetic field to navigate. Man has been doing that for a thousand years since the invention of the compass. Ship logs reveal historic records of Earth's magnetic evolution. With the magnetic north constantly moving, Navy and merchant fleets had to regularly update their maps. Ground-based observatories were built to keep track of the changes leading to the scientific study of the magnetic field. Here we are in a magnetic observatory which is 100 years old and it is actually very typical for a magnetic observatory of that time. The observatories were built down in caves to keep the instruments at stable temperature. Everything is mechanical. There are magnets, there are moving mirrors, there are light beams and photographic paper to record the results. There are around 100 observatories around the world monitoring the Earth's magnetic field, like this one in Broerfelde in Denmark. Precisely calibrated magnetometers measure and record changes in the magnetic field across continents and islands. What we can see here is actually very interesting because a few days ago there was an explosion on the sun and with the solar wind hitting the earth we measure these changes in the magnetic field. And you can see here in the upper part magnetic measurements from Greenland which show big changes of the magnetic field whereas uh, this curve down here is for example from Denmark at lower latitudes and here the magnetic field changes are much uh, smaller than those that we observe here in Greenland closer to the geomagnetic pole. But ground observatories only cover parts of the ocean leaving blank spots on geomagnetic maps. That problem can be solved by putting the magnetometers into orbit. From space, satellites can accurately measure the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field anywhere on Earth. 